I'll just throw in a incense cup, Roman Taza. I think it simply means cup. Um, but they are almost certainly incense cups, uh, made in various parts of the north. Probably some made at uh, Malton, Cranbeck. And they're a slightly tricky little form to throw because they have frills on them. Um, quite a few Roman pots have sort of frilly bits, but these ones have them in the middle. And this is based on one found on the Antonine Wall, and it has three lines of frills around it, so you have to do a little bit of cunning throwing to leave yourself three ridges, which I'm just defining there using my fingernail. Then just pull it up. There we go. Draw it out. Tidy it up inside. And then comes the decorating. So we've got those three flanges sticking out from the side. If I stop the wheel. And I just go round very gently, supporting the pot on the inside as I go, and create one row of frills. Next row, that's a little bit faster than it actually happens. And final row. And what you end up with is a highly decorative cup. And these will need a stem putting on them. They stand up. And they were, as I say, to burn incense. So you'd put a piece of burning charcoal in there, uh, drop in something like pine resin, possibly a pine cone, or possibly other herbs and sweet smelling things. Um, found in bathhouses, found in temples, shrines, that sort of thing. Uh, but this is a quite a small one, uh, possibly a personal one, possibly one you would have had at home. And after a short while drying, can trim it up slightly. A little bit of scratch and attach. And add some extra clay. Some of these cups seem to have made with, been made with a very narrow stem and it's been suggested that they may be designed to put onto the end of a pole to carry in procession. So there we go. So we'll make this one with a pole socket. Thank you. 